What type of dog is this? Right, boys, I'm here. I'm back. Um, I say that every video. It's, it shouldn't be a surprise anymore, all right? Your boys, your boys doing things, okay? He's, he's tired, man. Anyway, I've been really into Oblivion and Skyrim recently. I feel like the whole internet is slowly getting back into them games. I don't know why. I've just seen an influx of big YouTubers playing it and stuff. But I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to play some as well. Anyway, long story short, I was like, you know what? Why is there no games out there like Skyrim VR? You know? No, there's just something about the vast open world of Skyrim, uh, Oblivion, Morrowind, you know, them sort of games. And I've, I don't know what it is. I have got an obsession with the desert, okay, boys? I, I don't understand, all right? There must be something wired in my brain. I must have lived out there like 50 years ago in my past life or something. But look, I love the desert, right? So I was like, is there any VR game out there that can give me the experience of being in a world that is in depth, it has areas to go, um, it has everything, and it doesn't. I, I can't find anything. I might not be looking too well. I might, you know, be a bit slow. I don't understand. But that's when I decided to try out Unreal Engine. So boys, today I'm going to be showing off Unreal Engine. We have got lots to go through, lots to see, and most importantly, what I have achieved with it. And I was pretty happy with the results, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I after I made it all and I completed it all, I was very, 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 very happy with everything. And for some reason, with Unreal Engine 5, when you've got volumetric fog and you've got um, nanite and you've got you know all the light impossible in Unreal Engine. I was it was just next level for me. All right, seeing those sort of graphics in VR was just mental. Okay, and by the way, can I just make sure? I want to let you guys know that I'm on a, a my my graphics card isn't a 3080. Right when I do this, okay, this is on a 980 Ti overclocked to I believe just under 1600 megahertz. Okay, a, a 1580 or something like this. My the, all I'm saying is that it's achievable, okay? And I'm a very happy boy. Anyway, let me carry on and I'll get right into it. I just wanted to explain as well, when I, while I'm doing this video, that everything that you see in this video uh, isn't the full, um, everything in the back ends. You know, there was a little bit of hacky sort of C++, I guess you could say, or C Sharp or whatever it is called. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Either way, there was a little bit of that, a little bit of checking out Stack Overflow for a few things here and there. But most of all, uh, everything has been coded correctly. Everything's nice and sorted. Um, and mainly, this video won't be super stupid, stupid long. It's kind of like a diary entry, I guess you could say, of something that I created, something that I'm really proud of and really happy. And I think the final project is something that most people would consider pretty awesome. Um, I mean, I've been on Unreal now for a very, very long time. Uh, actually, my, my, my game engine of choice would be CryEngine, but because of how easy Unreal Engine is to work with, VR just, just pulls out nicely in Unreal Engine without any optimization really. I mean in CryEngine I can tell you um, there's a lot more to do with it. Um, I mean for some reason it feels as if I can't fill the world as much. I've got to create levels or different grounds and I've got to worry about grids and everything whereas Unreal Engine um, it kind of just feels like everything can just be put straight in and it's it's a beautiful thing. So you can obviously see that, you know, I've installed it and I'm doing some bits and pieces and all of this. Um, I did grab some, one thing that you might not see here as well is actually when I was going through this, I actually didn't have a lot of content of me downloading and going through the store. But I know for a fact, if you guys haven't tried it already, go check out um, on Unreal Engine. They've got a little section called Quill Bridge. I believe it's called or something like that. Quill Bridge, something like that. Um, and you get a load of free stuff. It helped a lot. It helped a stupid, stupid amount. Like, it was crazy to me. I didn't realize as well how fast <laughs> Unreal Engine downloaded. And I realized that my new internet is pretty stonks when I realized that like it's a hundred gig. So yeah, Unreal Engine 5 is pretty beefy. Here I am um, 
having a look at some of the PBR textures that were implemented in the game uh, or Unreal Engine and here I am testing out different lighting based off the skybox, placed off all this. In my personal opinion, I wasn't happy with the first PBR effect, so obviously that's when I started creating my own PBRs. And this was actually in a free software called Materialize. You can play around with anything. Um, these were some shots that I actually got from Unsplash. And obviously this is where I'm showing out how to create parallax or PBR textures. Um, and it's, it's an awesome thing because it is so easy and it's open source, it's completely free and you can really go ham with this. Like you can do literally anything with it. You can create whatever you want with this, you can create it, okay? Like if you wanna get a picture of some, uh, you know, some stones to apply in your medieval RPG, you can literally put it straight in. And the best thing about it is it will look like it's 3D, even if it's 2D, right? Even if you are literally stuck with just 2D textures, it will give it that little bit more of a height map and you've got any obviously you diffuse map and such like that, um, which will then kind of give it that, that depth so it looks like it's 3D, even though it's not. And obviously if the engine supports it, you can create parallax textures, which is a phenomenal, okay? And especially in VR, this is something that I really wanted because I feel like a lot of VR games actually lack PBR. Um, a lot of it is very flush to the ground and you can tell it's you're in a virtual world. So something like this was utmost thing for me. I wanted to create something that gave me that realistic vibe of a desert. Um, obviously since COVID and all that has made it extremely difficult. So trying to create something. Um, and of course, then on top of that, you have to create your AO map and such, which again, gives it more depth. And I guess you, I, I mean, obviously I've not synced this with the actual clips that I'm showing when I edit this, but uh, you can kind of see that if I do show it whenever I showed it, you know, the AO map is pretty awesome. You can kind of get, a, you know, an idea as to how it works from it. And obviously then again, you, you can see me spinning around the flat thingy. I can't remember. It's called a plane, I believe. Um, and you can spin it around. You can kind of have a little idea as to, you know, what I'm doing. But all in all, it's, it is really fun. And you can see through it, you can see loads of like the sand particles as well, adding noise and all that. It's so awesome and easy. Boys, if you've never created a PBR texture in your life, just do it once, okay? Do it once. You don't even have to upload it. Just have a little go, all right? Download it, materialize, have a go, boom. You're gonna have fun, trust me. I don't know why, I find textures fun, man. It's really weird. I should get some help. And then obviously I implemented it into the actual game. Uh, for some reason, I didn't actually have a clip of me doing that. Um, I mean, I've got one of me renaming a texture, but other than that, I didn't really have one, boys. Um, you can see I'm, I'm playing around with it and doing stuff. Oh, I actually, no, that's a lie. I did have some footage of me putting it all together. You can see that I'm kind of just playing around with it and, and creating PBR textures and all this sort of stuff. It was really good. And obviously you can see as well, can I just, can I just say Windows 11 has works with this as well i mean obviously we know it's windows 10 like the whole thing but it's pretty cool to see that windows 11 runs unreal engine 5 you can play around with it i have had no hiccups yet we've won uh windows 11 other than a few little like um my cpu usage sometimes getting a bit higher on idle than normal but nah, it's, it is what it is i enjoyed it though i mean creating textures on unreal engine 5 was just as easy as it was in 4 um, I didn't really have any issues other than the terrain map. Now, they've got a thing in this where you can't actually make it go out. They've got, they've, for some reason, they've completely got rid of, uh, I think it's called texture or terrain map or something like this. Um, so I had to go around it another way, which was, I think, through Nanite, which was a bit annoying, boys. But it is what it is. You know, we work with what we work with. And it's just like anything. If you don't understand it, just go on Google. Like, you know, like I found... I mean, obviously with Unreal Engine 5 being pretty new, there wasn't a lot of help, so I did have to kind of do it myself. But, I mean, it, once Unreal Engine 5 has come out, and if you have any issues, of course, have a look. Because, you know, at the end of the day, this is what we have Stack Overflow and all this for. And uh, it, it was a godsend. Obviously, I was working with a much newer system. Um, but I'm going to, I always admit, you know, and I'm always black and white with what I do. Um, you know, I admit to kind of looking online and seeing if I got 
you know can get any help but either way i i didn't actually show it i didn't show it at all but i actually had and i created a full body ik setup for um for vr so it had a full body vr setup that i completely did i was so happy with the result everything works correctly however i had a, i did have a, a little bit of an issue with the quest 2 um but for some reason i have no clue why the quest 2 didn't implement correctly with unreal engine 5 i had a few little hiccups here where it kept saying it was a rift s when it wasn't it was a quest 2 but uh we had a little look obviously you can see that i'm playing around a lot with the with the actual fade and the volumetric lighting of the desert and you can kind of see my little vr body you can see the giant ass camera stuck in his head look look at that boy but it looks pretty cool okay it gets everything across and i was happy with it man it really looked awesome and you can kind of see like the little add-ons and stuff i mean look i can't sugarcoat it okay boys the desert doesn't really have a lot going for it okay it doesn't have a lot to do okay i didn't put loads of buildings i didn't put loads of this because i wanted to stand in a desert with audio and just get that feel of a desert right a little bit realistic than watching say a youtube video 360 because i'll be honest with you guys i really didn't want to get involved with watching a youtube video in a desert because it's just not got the same feeling to me um you know, I want to touch the ground and see my hand touch the ground. You know, it's just a little different vibe. Um, and also, I just want to mention that in my video where I'm actually playing around with the sky and everything, I tried to give it that sunset feeling. It was pretty cool. Obviously, I'm playing around with a new lighting system. It's a little bit different from UE4, but you can kind of get the idea. It's a bit, it is pretty awesome. I was happy with it. Um, and it was just beautiful man it was just beautiful it was fully fully volumetric lighting as well so it looked that little bit more realistic with the sand texture obviously as you saw we created it was awesome boys it was awesome and then on top of that obviously i um had to recreate the land okay so i completely got rid of the old terrain and i went back over it creating as as you know sand dunes um just because to me I've got an obsession with standing in the desert, okay, boys, there's nothing more to it. I just wanted, I want a realistic VR experience, okay? Most of the time, I'm standing in a desert, like, on a video game, and it just doesn't feel like a desert, okay? So, I wanted to do everything that looks that much, much better and cleaner. Obviously, you can see, I, I you know, you, you might be asking why I was doing height, like, and then flattening height, and then flattening, and all this sort of thing, but... It is an, a technique that I've used for years on CryEngine. I don't know why I do it. It just gives it that more, you know, natural look to the to the environment. Um, I mean, hey, look, it works, okay, boys. I mean, I've created a battle royale before, and people people commented on the environment, so I I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, like like anything you can see that i'm playing around with the the character and the camera models and seeing where i can get the proper lighting involved again you can see it all getting in change around with the sky and all that and the, the thing is when creating a vr game right lighting really matters like anything lighting matters in a video game it's probably one of the most number one things when it comes to creating lighting because at the end of the day you're not sure you, you know like with anything, like when we look at these next gen, next gen games, lighting is considered the utmost, you know, ray tracing, we have all this sort of stuff. So to create a realistic lighting um, thing, I guess you could say, for a game engine is perfect. Uh, obviously with that, then you've got to play around with the sky, so you've got to be natural with it, you know, you've got to come up with a decent amount of fog and the colour of the fog with the sun and the sun sky to the fog, you know, all of this stuff is, is you know, to be, it needs to work and it needs to be consistent with each other. If it's not, your game will not seem realistic. It will actually look and feel like a virtual game. So I had to do everything that feels realistic. You know, if what does a sunset look like and what is the sand going to look like as, you know, all the winds pushing it about, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I did all that. And then, of course, on top of that, um, adding in and implementing the audio 
so again audio was one of my main main ideas when it comes to this because the thing is how do you make a game you know that little bit more better when it comes to lighting so the main things to me were creating a nice visual experience with good audio because that's what vr is isn't it you, you put a vr headset on somebody and they go right that is that this is you know it this is what it is so anyway i'm playing around with stuff looking at the motion controls and the engine and the rendering and here it is boys this is the first test to me playing in my vr world and i'll tell you now yeah the experience in the quest 2 was absolutely nuts now to see my work in my with my character to see my arms and my hands and everything working together was just nuts boys it was really awesome you'll actually see in the video how crazed out i was over the the textures the textures popping out at you just feel so weird i've played hundreds of vr games right and these textures on the floor were next level and it sounds stupid but it shows you how big of a deal pbr is in vr right so looking at them that little bit of sand sitting down looking at that sunset hearing sound and the audio of the um of the the sand dunes and everything was just nuts and especially looking at all the volumetric land and the dust and everything it looked awesome obviously um, so in my um, headset I had a, um, a little bit of a thing so basically the camera movement is a bit odd in Unreal obviously I butched it I guess you could say so as you stand and move your head backwards um, it your, you can see inside your character essentially because your model is still there and I would have to remove the head in order for you to not see your head uh, but for me what I did was I ended up just Basically, I looked at a YouTube uh, video of this I IK thing and it gave me an idea to use one of the triggers for the uh, reset camera, I guess you could say. And it was on a paid plugin as well. So what I did was I ended up just not copying it, but getting the idea for it and implementing it in my own way. Um, it didn't work a lot at all. If anything, it, it took me forever to make it work, but it worked in the end. So yeah, and you can kind of see I'm like, looking around obviously my mic wasn't working but i really wish you guys could have heard it because it was just i don't know guys it was just awesome to see everything you know i could hear the wind i could see everything and seeing that sun as well right in your eyes is amazing it is just just nuts it's nuts boys i don't know how else to say it um, but yeah, I, I mean, standing on those hills and doing the running and stuff, there is a visual glitch. It wasn't this shaky. Uh, if you see anything that's very shaky in the camera or on the footage, it wasn't shaky in the headset. It was actually really, really easy and clean. Um, but for some reason, it showed it in the preview window. Not sure why that was. But anyway, it doesn't matter. But all that matters is I got an awesome experience in the desert. It doesn't seem like a lot. There wasn't a lot of stupid stupid high textured you know uh mega scans that you know a lot of people end up putting in from the library but i thought i'd make something from scratch you know sand dune desert which has got the environment that i want it to and believe it or not this took probably about half a day to do right half a day and i was so happy with the results i wouldn't ask for anything more um, but anyway, I don't know if it's been a long video. I'm not really sure what the situation is with how long I've recorded this. But boys, if you haven't already, go check out rockshare.com. I've got loads of hoodies and new designs coming out. I would really appreciate it if you, uh, you know, decided to buy one for your dog or some shit. Look, I love you all. You've all been amazing. I don't really, <laughs> I've not been on stream too much because I've been really busy, boy. So if you don't know about it already, go over to Twitch. Um... I stream over there every Friday, but I had a break last week, okay? So please, please don't hit me um, if you already know. But anyway, I'm getting my, my, my words getting all mixed up. Look, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoy the video. It's something a bit different. Maybe if you catch me this Friday, I might be playing some Skyrim in VR. I don't know. Anyway, hit it up, and I'll see you soon. I love you all. You're the best.
Merry Biscuits.